the threat from other predators. In the world of the carnivore, competition for prey is fierce. And after a kill, a second conflict over the carcass begins. Stealing a carcass from another carnivore is one of the primary modes of competition among large meat eaters. Such battles are commonly seen in the African bush. A predator must learn to protect its kill from scavengers or starve to death. For the modern grey wolf, the grizzly bear is one of the fiercest competitors. In Yellowstone, so far, grizzly bears are 100% successful in usurping carcasses from wolves. And wolves very infrequently put up a stiff resistance. They pretty much let the bears take the carcass. For grey wolves, it's a critical waste of energy after an exhaustive hunt to have food snatched away. It's likely the dire wolf suffered the same kind of competition from short-faced bears and saber-toothed cats. It was a constant struggle to find and secure enough food to keep the pack alive. When confronted by larger competitors, it's likely the dire wolves would have avoided trouble. Most likely, what they're probably doing is uh, like in, in Enter the Dragon, what Bruce Lee says, the art of fighting without fighting. That's what they're doing. They're trying to compete for some of the same prey resources, but by not actually directly confronting Smilodon, Short-Faced Bear, probably working around them. They're competing without competing. But there were times when the dire wolf was forced to confront his larger competition. Unfortunately for the wolf, the rules of nature favor the larger species. In a one-on-one -on -one encounter, the short-faced bear or saber-toothed cat would overwhelm a wolf. This made life for the smaller dire wolf extremely difficult. Powerful predators that roamed the Ice Age terrain tormented them at every kill and threatened to leave them out in the cold. Yet the dire wolf thrived for hundreds of thousands of years. Despite competition for food from fearsome adversaries like saber-toothed cats. And short-faced bears. Beasts that most likely took on and defeated even the largest of dire wolf packs. Fortunately for the dire wolves, short-faced bear populations were small and such encounters should have been rare. But clashes with the more numerous saber-toothed cat were far more likely. This fierce feline weighed a quarter of a ton or more. Fast, strong, and armed with a fearsome array of teeth. A lone dire wolf would probably retreat. But in a pack, strength in numbers would probably defeat a single cat. They're most likely in concert in, in a very threatening type of posturing way. A single Smilodon can't be looking everywhere at once. And even though they're all smaller than you, the numbers and the proximity is probably going to suggest that there's some fights that are just not worth having. Operating in large packs gave the dire wolf another major advantage over its competitors. It meant they could devour their prey quickly before other carnivores had a chance to steal the kill.
they had to worry about losing their carcasses and it would benefit them to finish the carcass entirely and eat very rapidly. I think it was a major element. I think it would have favored very large group size and it's actually going to enhance the speed at which they can eat. Individually, each wolf used its massive jaw muscles and oversized front teeth to quickly pull off huge chunks of flesh. Its rear teeth were adapted for tearing, not chewing, so they simply swallowed the meal whole. It was kind of remarkable how little chewing went on. They just reach in, mainly with their incisors and the canine teeth, and pull out a hunk of muscle, and down the gullet it would go. Maybe one bite, and then down the gullet it would go. Wolfing down their food, a dire wolf pack made short work of a kill. They could reduce a huge bison into bones in just minutes before another predator had the opportunity to move in. This was just another of the crucial skills the dire wolf evolved to survive among other Ice Age beasts. It became a sturdy, relentless hunter with the size and strength to overwhelm massive prey like the bison. It learned to work in large packs to fend off other predators. As a result, the dire wolf spread across North America in large numbers, dominating other species like its cousin, the grey.